Hi everyone, this is second part of crochet elephant tutorial and in this part I'm going to show you how to crochet the body of elephant. Okay, so take the same size of crochet hook like before, like you crocheted the head of elephant. Start with magic ring. If you don't know how to make magic ring, click the link in information card or in description of this video because there is a single video how to make a magic ring. Chain one and this chain count as single crochet and now grab the yarn from front or from back like you did uh, the, the elephant hat. So insert your hook into the magic ring, grab the yarn from front or from back. So I'm going to do it from front like before and make eight single crochets into the magic ring. So eight single crochets in magic ring plus chain is nine single crochets in total. Don't tighten it much because then it will be easier to tighten the magic ring. So now we can count and make sure if you have eight single crochets in your magic ring, then you can tighten it, tighten the magic ring and now you have to join the round with a slip stitch. Count it from the right side. It's a eighth uh, stitch, not chain. So from left side, count it from left side. It's first stitch. There you have to insert your hook and grab the yarn, pull it through and make a slip stitch. Mark the beginning because we are going to work in a round. And now we have to increase every stitch all the way around. So make two single crochets in each stitch around. Okay, in next round, I'm going to make two single crochets in the first stitch. And in this round, we have to increase every second stitch all the way around. So two single crochets in very first stitch, one and two single crochets. In the next stitch, make just one single crochet. Now increase again, so make two single crochets. And continue working two single crochets in every second stitch around. Then meet me back again and I will tell you what next. Okay, at the end of the round, you should have in very last stitch one single crochet. In next round, we are going to increase every third stitch. So in very first stitch, make two single crochets. In next two stitches, make one single crochet one and two and now increase again so make two single crochets and continue working like this all the way around okay i am at the end of the round this is first increase and this is last increase so between first and last decrease is two stitches where you have to make just one single crochet in next round, I'm going to increase the first stitch. 
So make two single crochets and then make one single crochet in next three stitches. So in this round you have to increase every fourth stitch all the way around. Okay, now we are going to make just one single crochet in each stitch all the way around, so it will be one round without change. Make one single crochet in each stitch around. In next round, we have to uh, increase again. So I'm going to increase the first stitch like always. Make two single crochets in the very first stitch. And then in the next three stitches, make just one single crochet. It means you have to increase every fourth stitch all the way around. So here is another increase. Okay, in previous round, uh, you should have increased 12 times. In the next seven rounds, you will make just one single crochet in each stitch around. So it will be seven rounds of single crochet, seven rounds without increase, without decrease. Okay, this is how it looks like and now we have to decrease. So we are going to decrease uh, on the beginning. So decrease. You can see I'm using just front loops because it's invisible decrease. And now make one single crochet in the next six stitches. So in this round, you should decrease every seventh stitch. So here I have to decrease again. Okay, in the next three rounds, make just one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So it will be three rounds without change. Okay, in next round we have to decrease again. So decrease on the beginning. And in this round, you have to decrease every sixth stitch around. So I have decreased and now make one single crochet in next five stitches. Two, three, four, five and decrease again. So continue working two single crochets together every sixth stitch all the way around and then make again three rounds of single crochets okay i have done three uh, three rounds of single crochets and now we have to decrease again so decrease on the beginning like always and then make one single crochet in next three stitches it means you have to decrease every fourth stitch around And after this uh, round, make two rounds of single crochets. Okay, I have done two rounds of single crochets, two rounds without decrease, without increase. And now we have to uh, decrease again. So decrease on the beginning like always. And then make one single crochet in next two stitches. So in this round, you have to decrease every third stitch around.
Okay, and let's make the last round of the body of elephant. Make one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And at the end of the round, make a slip stitch. So in very last stitch, make a slip stitch. Okay, and that's all. You have to just stuff the body with hollow fiber. And if you will use this uh, chenille yarn for sewing, keep the tail longer. And that's all. Okay, then uh, sew the body to the head with invisible stitch. And I will look forward at the next and last part of tutorial.